Hey guys, this is my channel, Mad Vixen. I am actually on my way to Walk Penny, and um, I'm gonna just show you guys what's new. My BioCube crashed. Oh my god. My BioCube was doing so awesome. I showed you guys last time how it was just on its way to being like one of the best bio cubes I've ever seen and then all of a sudden we had a heat wave here in Seattle and everything died um I thought it would be okay I thought I lifted the lid but um I guess I needed to put ice cubes in it I still have my tortoise I still have my betas and I also have da -da 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 -da, a new terrarium that I'm going to show you guys how I set it up and actually let's do that now. Ah! This is my terrarium. Um, I got this from a company called the Bio Dude. I know, just sketchy, right? So basically what they send you is the plants, they send you the soil, and they send you this medium here that is supposed to act like a, um, a little reservoir for the water so it doesn't get clogged up. I have my water bowl back there, um, some wood that is compostable, which means it's going to disintegrate, you know. Did you see that? That was a little cricket because here I have a little, let's see if I can show you guys. I have a little toad. This is my little toad. Well, it's actually a frog. It's an Australian... Um, hopefully, it doesn't want to focus. There's my Australian white tree frog getting some heat from the heating pad. It's a cool little dude. It'll, it'll eat crickets. And it'll grow somewhat, but I'm really enjoying watching him and seeing him grow. And he's in his little terrarium here. Um, I spray it once a day, and it's really cool. It's like having a little forest in your living room. So yeah, that's my terrarium. Here's Penny. Penny, yes, you're a good girl. You want to go for a walk? Want to go for a walk? Yeah, let's go for a walk. Let's go see what's spring. I think um, I may be moving. I may be moving to a house. She's a good girl. Right, Penny? She's a good girl. Yeah, so, like I was telling you guys, um, if I do get to move, it's gonna be hard. Moving is not easy. You gotta take out everything you've owned for the last some odd years and just pack it up and leave and set it up in a new place. But it's exciting and I'm hoping for the best. Pretty, some pretty um, <clears throat> zucchini flowers. Evergreen, that's why we're called the Evergreen State. Evergreen, forever green. And here is my bio cube. No, not my bio cube. Um, Nuvo 10. It's basically a 10 gallon Nuvo. It has, uh, I put in a AI Prime light, which is pretty sweet because it's all automated. The only thing is, like, the water level, I think, is okay, but every day, every other day, I have to put in more water, so I need to figure out some sort of auto top-off system to work around here. But basically, as you can see, I don't have nearly as many corals. Um, some of them died in the tank crash that I had. I still have my Nemo's. I gotta have my Nemo's. Hopefully it'll start to... There we go. I gotta have my Nemo's because they're like the fish to get when you have a small tank. I have some um, Zoas. I have a Rock Nam. My mushroom is doing okay. There we go. There's my mushroom with a little Nasarius snail. 
and uh, yeah, I made it bare bottom because I don't want to have the hassle of cleaning the sand. So eventually, hopefully, I'll take all the sand out. But this is what it looks like for now. Yeah, so um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys have one of these tanks? If so, how do you like it? How do you... What are, what are some things you don't like about it? This is just my transition tank. Eventually I want to get something bigger, as we all do in this hobby, but for now this should be okay. Alright, but that's it for me guys. Alright, bye!